after the reported 2023 arrest, Q50 would seemingly already be released just a few days later, and he yep, would return right back to the streets to cause even more havoc. You robbed a nigga for his diamond roly, then you posted on Instagram the diamond roly that still had blood on it. Just about a week later, something would seemingly happen to TMC Slide, with Q50 hopping on social media to declare that Slide was now deleted and out of the picture. Jeff would even go on Instagram Live around this time, saying that he was now up 11 bodies. However, this would seemingly be around the same time when an alleged member of the 8 Trey mob called Baby KD, real name Khalil Dunbar, would also be killed, and he too would get associated with being one of Jeff's victims. What well, up, Moolah Gang? It's your boy Mac Moolah, aka Mr. Moolah Mac. That boy Q50 say he didn't pop eight people. He got eight bots. Oh my God. We we finna see what's going on. Apparently he uh he he involved with the murder of Slide. I don't know who Slide is, but we finna figure it out though. Let's get it. Anyways, about a month after the shooting of Glenn, the luck would seemingly turn for Q50 momentarily, as in late September, he was apparently arrested by the Chicago police for several serious charges, mm. including a UUW, or unlawful use, use of a weapon, weapon, and another UUW for an automatic weapon or machine gun. There's been much that confusion only about 19. his arrest online, as Q50 would be arrested a second time in 2024, with this arrest that time seemingly happening outside the city limits of Chicago, which is oh, likely okay. why that Stoky. arrest can only be found on Cook County Sheriff's website, not on CPDs, and also right. why his court location is marked as Skokie, which is outside of Chicago. Skokie, However, the Cook yeah. County website Skokie does not list far. the charges that Q50 was arrested for, therefore we don't know what his most recent charges are yet. But what right. we do know is that after the reported 2023 arrest, Q50 would seemingly already be released just a few days later, and he yeah, would return right back to the streets to cause even more havoc. Oh, he, he got out of jail and caught a body? Pause. Listen, I have a mentorship called the Moolah Membership where I'm going to teach you how to get rich with business, YouTube, crypto, stocks, financial literacy, credit, every single way. Now, I became a millionaire by the time I was 23 years old. I'm going to teach you step by step for only $50. Click the first link in the description right now and get added to my group chat where I'm going to give you one-on-one -on -one help to make sure you get rich in 2024. Click it right now. Stop tweaking because we got very, very, very limited spots and I don't want you to miss this bag. Y'all be tripping, boy. I don't know what's wrong with these niggas. As I discussed in depth in my Lil Jeff video, in early 2024, Lil Jeff, together with several other accomplices, would allegedly commit two of their most highly publicized murders, killing two high school students named Montario and Williams was supposed to and be Robert Jeff Boston, and 50? That's known crazy, as Monty bro. and Lil Rob, after Monty had allegedly stolen some jewelry from That's Jeff. Insane. These teens were all the way from the west side, but attended a high school in downtown Chicago, where they would be gunned down in a brutal assassination style attack school. immediately after leaving their school. And a few weeks later, Lil Jeff would drop his most popular song, titled Ah, the music video for the song now being at four million views, with the whole song appearing to be dedicated as a diss song towards these two slain this teens, with them. Jeff essentially laying out the details of these Let me murders. see, let me read this. When I speak, it's only facts. He was screaming, ah, when he got hit real tough on bowling net. Now he on the flow looking like a bit. Just walked in Liz for two hats, really stepping in blood. Niggas know how it get. He ain't, a, he ain't get a chance to run. Can't say he tripped. Bounced out with four sticks. Two niggas got hit. His best friend died and he wished he was with him. Won't take too long till he right there with him. He thought he was gone. I was right there with him. Can't stop what I'm doing. I'm a madman. Get him. The switch is spit and it don't stop. We got the drop and spin the block. My favorite ops got put on spot. Lord, have mercy. These young niggas is making King Von look like a joke. And that's actually crazy for the whole world to Let's hear. Start the popularity there. of this song would push Lil Jeff's rap career to the next level and seemingly pushed him to amp up his already out of control antics on social media. Ironically, one of Lil Jeff and Q50's favorite hobbies was seemingly robbing people of their jewelry. Yeah. And in early May, they would once again catch a new lick, proudly showing their bounty off on social media, with Lil Jeff's hand and his new allegedly stolen watch still having blood on it from seemingly bleating oh, up or damn. shooting their victim. The victim would turn out to be a it man still with 6300 Bredo. Hold Jeff on. We bleating. You robbed a nigga for his diamond roly, then you posted on Instagram the diamond roly that still had blood on it. Oh, no. no. Shooting their victim. The victim would turn out to be a man called 6300 Bredo, who Jeff and Q50 would out during one of their many Instagram lives. I'm gonna show y'all who you got his ass. Man, we, uh, we, we got an AP already, Skull. I'm, I'm having a way in Chicago, Illinois. Hey, man, get a people that. That's why. They should never been trying to kick it by an Atlanta green. I mean, it ain't. 
Damn. That's it. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. It cost him his whole hustle career. Everything he worked hard for. 250 would later also talk that about shit this ain't cool. his songs, weird. like the song "Make It Far," where he raps how they smacked both Bredo. Why and would you? But I'm trying to figure out why. Why would you try to buy some? See these niggas that I would like. If I seen them and they tried me, bro, I would be forced to shoot because it's just nothing. I, I'm not like I'm not linking with y'all to buy no. We ain't finna, I'm not buying no drugs from you. I'm not kicking it with you. I'm not doing nothing. So that's why I don't know what's wrong with these niggas, bro. Like, I just don't get it, gang. I don't get it. Girlfriend, you couldn't pay me. Bredo is you associated me. with a set called TMC, located on the west side near Marquette Park. This set also having a rapper called TMC Slide, who had been putting out music for several years. Soon, after the alleged robbery, Bredo would go on Instagram Live several times together with his TMC friends like Slide and another rapper called Nutso, seemingly in an effort to save face after this debacle. Tell him count that up. Screenshot that. Tell him screenshot hey, that. Like that. Hey, don't forget this casket though. Hold on. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Open them. No, not the casket. He got a casket on his chain. Y'all niggas are slow, boy. For 93 people on your live? I can take Y'all, it's the whole group of whole the whole generation is crash outs. That's what they should call it. You know how they got millennials, Gen Z. This is crash out. Full new grade. The crash out generation. You hear me? Jeff, Q50, and the Bloodhounds now had a brand new beef on their hands. And just like Yeah, but you can't see, I think everybody goofy, because how you get robbed and then get on Instagram talking about some we killers? Basically, what you're doing, you singing songs like you a killer, but you just got robbed. Why you didn't kill the people that robbed you? Then you got the goofies that robbed you getting on Instagram. Y'all, everybody slow. Seemingly bro. gone down with Monty and Rob. Everybody would slow. Everybody very goofies. quickly. And just about a week later, something would seemingly happen to TMC Slide. With Q50 hopping on social media to declare that Slide was now deleted and out of the picture. Jeff would even go on Instagram Live around this time, saying that he was now up 11 bodies. However, this would seemingly be around the same time when an alleged member of the 8 Trey mob called Baby KD, real name Khalil Dunbar, would also be killed. And he too would get associated with being one of Jeff's victims in online rumors. But Lil Jeff's Live saying he had 11 bodies could seemingly be claiming either one of these people right and it's like it's impossible for them to catch a body and just go home and go to sleep. You got to get on Instagram because niggas got to know what you're doing. See, that's the biggest difference that I don't get. They say Jeff don't go a day without incriminating himself. Exactly. That's I, that's the part I just will never understand. If you got ops that's trying to kill you every day and you go do something to them, I bet I get it. You got to take care of your business. Okay, you in the streets, whatever. But for a nigga to, 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 for a nigga to, Get on Instagram live and you gotta brag be braggadocious about this every single time, bro. It's corny, bro. Oh, that's pretty man. That's that's eleven. You're gonna be eight and I'ma scan your scary ass to hell. However, in Slide's said, case, you're gonna be there was eight. confusion about what exactly had happened and whether or not Slide was even dead, with Jeff even making a post saying is he dead or alive, before saying that he knows the truth, but the ops don't want to tell, as well as they saying don't pull tell, the plug, pull the making plug. it seem as if Slide was perhaps only being kept alive with the help of life support. Money don't make you bulletproof, and neither do talking shit on Instagram. And pull the plug, making it seem as if Slide was perhaps only being kept alive with the help of life support. However, Slide would then seemingly return to his social media, posting how he was out of the country on a holiday in the Dominican Republic, and telling people to stop calling his phone. However, mm. based on his social media, it seemed like this trip had likely been all the way back in March 2024. But still, oh, someone okay. would also go live on his Instagram account, seemingly whilst being somewhere with palm trees. But interestingly, this person would never show their face to never the camera. Face. It's a clone, it's a ghost. Y'all ain't talking about <laughs> Yeah, this glad. This the clone. He this said glad too. Y'all first one up, number. 
<laughs> so maybe that's him and he got shot in his head goofy. or face or something? Right. They talking about slide, got killed, slide this, slide that. <laughs> slide is on live right now, out the country. You broke ass and you got a passport. What the f*** are you talking about? Yeah, so y'all did something to who? Meanwhile, Jeff would keep trolling Slide, going live from LA where he so was on a he, trip with Vert and Lil Stoom, saying Maybe he, just he hadn't him. heard from Slide since he had crashed into a building. This seemingly being one of the first clues about what had actually happened to him, as well as once again saying to pull the plug on his life support. I, I, I ain't heard from that Slide, man, since he crashed into that crib, man. That life got broke from life support. I say, I'm my pain, keep me going. Slag getting annoying. I just want to see them pull the plug. I want to see them go from life support. They don't spank me no more. They don't love me no more. They ain't feeling my song. Is he dead or alive? I don't know what I'm lying. Cause you know that he died. But they ass yeah, that he lying. They keep trying to keep it quiet. The other side know that I'm gonna slide just no, a bunch of goofy the activity they pop my pants man my ass, he ain't die some 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 mm, mm. how I'm in the sky I'm in the LA right now at the end of May, Q50 would once again post on his story saying that people are delusional and they should stop acting like Tupac is still alive. He would also update his body count saying on a Facebook post, March 23rd, left seven, it in my city, I'm up. Now nah, I heard he went fair, how the fuck is he back out? Then in May, I'm up eight hats playing ball like a pro. If I go broke, I'ma kick your dough. Cuban on rose gold, my wit with your hoe. Like again, like I said, y'all can't just catch bodies and be a street nigga and just go home. Now you gotta get on Instagram and tell on yourself. Eight, back in and they willing to go to jail just so everybody know in jail that he. It's just so cool. stupid. Kill count had seemingly still it's been just at, dumb as at the time. Bro. It wouldn't yet be clear if he was referring to KD or Slide, but this would seemingly change when Q50 would drop the song "Make It Far," where he raps how he now has eight bodies, even though people are still trying to claim his last victim is alive. With this being a rather obvious reference to Slide. In June, Vert 2 would join in on dissing Slide, Vert posting a story Slide, on his IG, asking on Slide support, to post a picture support, or something to prove that he's still alive and well. However, once again, yeah, that's Slide's what I'm saying though. If you on live talking crazy, you would have definitely showed your face. If you got on live to prove to me that you were still alive, you would have definitely showed Instagram your account face. would come back to life as someone would post a story asking why people think he's dead, as well as pointing out that no media outlet such as the legal help firm Facebook page that posts a lot of people that have been killed in Chicago had posted anything about Slide. However, someone would comment on a post about Slide's social media posting that his sister knows Slide's family. Dude, that's on life support. My big sister know his people shorty as half dead. Tell his brother get off his page. So it is his brother. Maybe, I don't know, but that could be a goofy making up stuff. You don't never know. It was in fact Slide's brother who was using his Instagram account. And then as Q50 would begin posting more music around July 2024, as well as many of his songs getting leaked, there would be an abundance of new Slide disses dropping too. In the song Splash Bros, he would Slide rap about got how Slide had seen got ago. shot a month ago and that since then he hadn't been talking. This song then likely having been made around mid-June. In his next officially released song First Day Out, Q50 would claim that Slide had gotten shot before crashing his car. And in a leaked song with Lil Scoom titled Bad Boy, he would seemingly reveal that Slide had gotten shot with a 10mm pistol. And while in another leaked song titled Scarface, together with the Philly rapper Hood Tali, he would Hello. This is an important notice from the approval department. You've been pre-qualified for a personal loan of up to $72,000. Make perhaps his most revealing claim, rapping how the trenches know who has shot trenches Slide. about Slide, niggas know they know who did it. Know they steady saying this, nigga ain't dead, but this... Saying how the fact that me. people are claiming that he's still alive is really bothering him. Meanwhile, members of TMC would do a hood vlog with On A Couch TV, where they would also comment on Slide's current situation, mm. seemingly admitting that he had indeed gotten shot, but also saying that he's still alive and doing good, as well as implying that the bloodhounds just like to troll about everything. Now, speaking on that too, like, recently it been a lot of controversy over somebody named Slide from TMC. The fans wanted me to ask y'all, like, what's up with that? Because they, like, they see him posting on Instagram, but a lot of people be hey, trolling. Let me say something. Let me say something. Look, steady trolling, steady trolling to bringing up slide names. Look, folks up dog. You see what I'm saying? Folks a lot of different. They ain't got shit else to do. You see what I'm saying? So they ain't got as much money as folks. They ain't they ain't deal with folks and did. You feel me? Yeah, cause I ever seen a video so on YouTube, but I'm going no, live. I'm like, look, look, they gonna keep bringing folks' name up, folks. Mm -hmm. They gonna keep doing all type of. But folks good though. Ain't nothing wrong with folks. Folks good though. I don't know. You never know. Yeah, that's that scooter. That scooter. Stay doing that. We in Chicago, bro. Everybody get shot, bro. This
Okay. Everybody get shot. Bro, my kid, everybody don't got four, five hundred thousand. They homies though. They try to troll slide, but they homies is dead on folks. Like, come on, gang. That's another thing I ain't never understood that shit about the streets. I'm you gonna troll me about my dead homies, but you got dead homies? How that work? Oh, man. Folks still alive, breathing, talking. They homies can't do no none of that type of. And so at that point you feel like it'd be like the so they saying slide ain't dead. Got these people brains, man. The internet got. But maybe hit. maybe he just got hit and he said, man, I'm finna chill for. I'm finna give me some money. That shit's stupid. Or maybe he got hit to the point where you could like see it. The internet got wanna... these oh my f up, bro. Did do anything? Why did you stay speaking on the name on internet anyway? Exactly. Like right, why is you on the internet doing all that? We don't overdo that, bleed. I don't be trolling. I don't do that, bro. I don't Come be trolling. I don't even play like that. I I'm trolling, be... cause we gonna keep that last year. Like that baby, bro, be over trolling. That. But look, I don't be really, you know, playing with these. After all this time, it's still not clear what happened to Slide, and news reports and even yeah, platforms not, like Spot clear. News seem to have gotten very little information that would help clarify this mystery. Moreover, right. Slide's friends and even family appear to be completely radio silent on social media when it comes to his current situation. Although what can probably be inferred is that Slide is likely facing some kind of life-altering injury. But while the Bloodhounds were still gleefully trolling Slide and implying that they were behind his yeah, sudden disappearance, got hit they got too would suddenly experience two changed. enormous losses back to back, losing both of their biggest rappers. Y'all yeah, seen what happened to Jeff, boy. This shit gonna end one way or other. And I'm gonna tell y'all something real quick. A lot of, a lot more niggas die than they will, than people will ever go to jail. Don't get that messed up. Most people in the streets, you gonna die, bro. They say you either gonna die, or go to jail. Most times, you gonna die, bro.